Hi friends, it's Renee Roque and we appreciate you being with us. And I am here with our Women's Council of Realtors 2021 leadership team. And I have the privilege of speaking to my dear friend, Kay Merck, who is our president elect. Welcome Kay, how are you today? I am fabulous, could not be better. Thank you for asking. Well, thank you for spending a little time with us. And the purpose of today is just so all of us can meet you and know who you are, Kay. And you don't get to be president-elect just overnight. So I'd love for you to share with us your leadership journey and how did you get here where you are president-elect? Wow, so good to see you. And uh, I, I love sharing my Women's Council story. Mm -hmm. uh, I started coming to Women's Council in 2009, and I've been a real estate agent for over 22 years, but I have to give credit to Karen Bates, who uh, has been a long-term supporter of Women's Council for many, many years. She's, she was one of my lenders, and she said, you need to come to Women's Council. And uh, I'll never forget my first meeting. It was so welcoming. Everyone was just, you know, one of those situations. I thought, why haven't I been involved with this organization? <laughs> and, um, and so we went to sit down. I'll never forget this. And Karen said, oh, no, no, you don't. You can't sit next to me. You know me. <laughs> you right. have to with someone else you don't know and I thought that's brilliant yes I was able to meet people that I've never met before and uh, it was just a fantastic experience so I got involved from that day forward and the first job they gave me was greeting people at the door no right that's so, that fits you so Shy. great <laughs> That's okay. Greeting people she's never met before at the front door. That was a perfect job for me. Um, now, how many years into your career were you introduced to Women's Council? Oh, gosh. Uh, so it was uh, over 15. Uh, so about 15 years oh. is how I've been with in real estate before I got introduced to Women's Council. Fantastic. So, is, now, now, what happened yeah. after you greeted at the door? Well, was that, so was that your it local went, network asked you to do that. They did. They started asking me to help out, and I wanted to help. I said, I raised my hand. If you guys need help, I want to help. So I became a, uh, the strategic partnership chair one year, and then I became membership chair for a couple of years, like you, Renee. That's I know right. you and I, we have the same similar that's path. Yeah, and that's right. You were that membership I, chair just exposed me to a ton of different people, and then president elect, president, and then I, I, my goal was to become a district vice president because when I was president, Eileen Oldroyd, wow. our uh, immediate past president for the state, was my district vice president, and she was fantastic. She was my you know, she set the best example. And I said, I want to do that. Wow, and I didn't know that. I was a district vice president for a couple of years uh, for all of uh, different uh, networks throughout Southern California and, and uh, governor for uh, one year. And then uh, I ran for state treasurer um, two years ago. And uh, so, yeah, so now president-elect and next year president. Woo! I'm that so excited. Very but I want to emphasize to you that if it wasn't for people that uh, helped me along the way and believed in me and tapped me on the shoulder and, and really said, you can do this. If this is something you want to do, you should do it. And I, I will never forget that. And I'm very grateful for having those mentors in my life. 
That's fantastic. Well, speaking of mentors, you've been a wonderful mentor to me. Yes, we were. I was my first year as membership director. And I remember being in Sacramento saying, I can't pull a list. I don't understand this. I don't understand. You said, let's meet. We met upstairs. Do you remember that? We met upstairs yes, in the do. work area and you showed me how to get on. I was like, oh, what a relief. And just that you took the time with me was so valuable to me. And I really did appreciate that. And, you know, I love you. And then you, well, we're a we team. Got, well, yes, thank you. When we would wake up at six o'clock in the morning and do our walk around the Capitol, which was amazing. When I was trying to figure out, do I leave the team? It will, can I do this by myself? You're like, yeah, of course you can do it. You got it. it. You can do it. You got it. it. Yes. Yeah, so it's and one. Of, and that's one of the reasons that I so love Women's Council. Now, tell me where where is K Merg? Where do you serve? What areas do you serve? What community? Where, where's your business? Well, um, we were fortunate enough to uh, move from uh, the LA area uh, in 1999. My husband is, was active duty military, he's retired now, mm -hmm. to San Diego. And as you know, it is a beautiful place to live. Beautiful. So I serve all of San Diego County and I really focus on helping our military clients with all of their housing needs. I've been there, done that. We moved six times in 13 years. Believe me, I get it. Wow. And I love helping our military clients. Now more than ever. That's amazing. Yes. That's really fantastic. My husband's a veteran, so I understand so too. Thank Ooh. you. Yeah, maybe. Go Thank military. you for your service. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> um, now tell me about why you stay in Women's Council. Truthfully, it is all about relationships, right? So uh, we can go along our day as real estate agents and work with clients and, you know, kind of live in our own little bubble, right? Sure. But by expanding into an organization like Women's Council of Realtors, what you find is those relationships that you develop, not only locally, statewide, but nationally. So I have to say, I love, you know, to my Women's Council uh, uh, members and relationships that I have built over uh, since 2009, and I end up, I mean, it is again, relationship building, but I love to give referrals to my women's council members. And so I've been really building on that my entire women's council career. And so this, this last year, 2020, uh, I gave out 17 referrals uh, wow. to, to women's council members. And I received 14. And so 17 across the nation. And across the nation. Yep. And you received Three how many? States. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of referrals when you add that. Well, I, I, I'll tell you why I love that because my clients are very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And I want to give them a women's council member who I know is professional, they know what they're doing. And my clients, I've never had a bad report from one of my clients saying, you know, that they didn't ha have a good experience with someone, right. from women's council. And that's why I keep referring because it is, it's a direct reflection on me and my relationship with a client. Um, in fact, you mentioned Lee Brown a yes. little bit ago. Uh -huh. I've four referrals to Lee Brown and her team and um, the letters and the comments that I have gotten back from my clients uh, regarding the professionalism and the good experience that they had purchasing homes with uh, Lee Brown's team has been phenomenal. So that's what it's about. We, we help each other. We do. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And I understand that at, on our upcoming winter meeting, you are going to actually have a session and you're gonna to talk to us and share some wisdom about how you do that because we at Women's Council refer to you, Miss Kay, as the referral queen. Why, well, thank you. I'm very excited about uh, doing this presentation for Women's Council. It's, it's called the 
uh, Women's Council of Realtors Referral Power Hour. Woohoo! So I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks to build your referral business. So instead of having, you know, only a few referrals a year, you're going to have half of your business are going to be referrals. So, and I'm, it's easy. I'm going to show you how to do it, but uh, as they say, you got to work it, right? Yeah. You got to uh, work it and you and have the, to be there at our winter meeting. You have to. You have to come. I mean, not only am I presenting, but we have some amazing uh, presenters. Uh, a lot of our local networks are going to share ideas of what has been working in their local network. So you can just take your local network and no, you know, no worries about um, whether you have to reinvent the wheel, right? We call it R and D here. Rip mm -hmm. on and duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's right. I love that. If it worked before, let's make it work again. Yes, that's I agree. awesome. I absolutely agree. And of course, our installation is coming up. Um, yes, uh, the time. I'm so excited. Very uh, excited. And so a lot of people are online registering and getting their swag bag, which is amazing. Uh, all the Fiesta theme. I'm very proud of uh, Rosanna Garcia, our 2021 president. And we're a very lucky team. Um, yes. to, unfortunately, we're not going to be together, but that's okay. We're going to have an amazing time anyway. And I think there might be a little salsa dancing. Yes, involved. I heard that. Uh, a professional <laughs> salsa instructor is going to be teaching us. My family is going to be cracking up, I'm sure. <laughs> True, well, absolutely. Thank you, Kay, for being here. And before we go, so that's our winter meeting, the 15th and 16th. We're going to have the link below. So please feel free to join us. Share this. That's February 15th and 16th, I think. Yeah. Uh, and that is a change. So thank you for mentioning that, Renee. We um, we were in a little conflict with uh, the same convention that CAR has. And so we realized that and we changed it to the 15th and 16th. So register now. We want to see everybody. Everyone, it, you, you, have, you don't have to be a member of Women's Council but make sure that all of your board members are there because they're doing a discount 10% off if six of your board members come to the meeting. So register today. Register today, don't wait. And before we go, Kay Merck from San Diego, our president elect from Women's Council of Realtors, California. Tell us where is it that you come from? Where did you grow up? Oh, yes. So many of you may not know this, but I'm originally from Fargo, North Dakota. And yes, I did get rid of that accent a while ago. <laughs> but yeah, I can pick up that accent pretty quickly, you know. I think there's a whole entire movie made about your where there you grew is. up. <laughs> but now you know why I live in San Diego. All <laughs> right. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's we hope that you have a beautiful day. I am so, so, so excited about the 15th and 16th of February. And more than that, I'm just so, I'm, I'm blessed to have your friendship and I do appreciate everything because I know that you, my friend, I can call anytime. And that's one of the anytime. benefits of Women's Council. So thank that's you. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Renee. Thanks everybody. See you in February. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>